सो हियर बेटा और टूडे टॉपिक दैट इज लाइट एंड साउंड रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन इज द प्रोसेस इन विच अ रे ऑफ लाइट स्ट्राइक्स ऑन अ स्मूथ और पॉलिश सरफेस एंड बेंड्स बैक टू इट्स इनिशियल मीडियम ओके मीन सपोज दैट यू आर यू एंड मी इन अ रूम वी आर ओके सो दैट मीन्स आई यूजल यू नो दैट इन रूम देर बिकम्स वॉल्स ओके एंड अ लिटिल बिट वॉल्स वुड लाइक टू बी इन स्मूथ ओके दैट मीन्स देयर सर्फेस वुड लाइक टू बी स्मूथ वॉट यूवर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू से टू यू मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इज देयर शुड बी अ मीडियम दैट वाई दैट यू वुड लाइक टू बी हियर माई वॉइस why because that sound is a type of energy which used to travel from one place to another place and it requires medium clear yeah so also when the sound would like to travel or suppose that i am talking to you so you are able to hear me because that in that situation when we both will be in a room so when my voice or when my sound would like to reflect from all those walls surrounding to us then you would like to be hear my sound okay yeah clear yeah yeah here also beta you have to understand that light and sound both are both are energies and they can travel as waves okay yeah light can travel through vacuum also okay light can travel through vacuum that means it doesn't requires any type of medium okay okay whereas sound requires medium that means like solid liquid or gas okay okay and always they both follows the laws of reflex and refraction okay okay yeah so laws of reflection and refraction refraction i explain that to you that means the process that when the energy would like to strike on a particular surface and then it bends back to its initial medium or same medium then that is that is known as refraction clear yeah also fundamentally you can also learn that about refraction that means a refraction the process in which the ray of light transmits from rarer medium to denser medium then it bends back uh, towards the normal and when from denser medium to rarer medium it gets away from the normal okay yeah that process is known as refraction clear yeah refraction you can understand in this way wait a second i am opening my graphic tablet yeah so beta regarding to reflection wait hold on we can understand or like uh, refraction they are saying beta firstly reflection you can understand so a reflection suppose that if there is a smooth or polished surface wait suppose that it is your smooth or polished surface over there just like as a mirror okay Yeah, just like as mirror, and then when and uh, the other thing that you have to draw over there, that will be its normal. Okay, normal will create normal is the imaginary line which creates 90 degree angle with respect to plane. Okay, or a smooth surface. Clear? Yeah. Also, law reflection condition is that. when a ray of light strikes on a smooth or polished surface like this okay it is your ray of light okay it is also known as incident ray okay okay incident ray incident ray okay yeah yes give me 
yeah and then and then incident ray yes incident ray that means the ray of light that incident or that strikes on a smooth or polished surface okay okay and then and then after reflection so this will be point of reflection at which point it will strike that is known as point of reflection okay okay <laughs> point of reflection point of reflection and after reflection it bends back in the same medium okay same medium that means you can see that that is your same medium okay like this clear yeah this will be known as your reflected ray okay okay yeah reflected ray reflected ray or reflected ray of light okay any else that you can say because that light and sound they are talking about that's why that with respect to light that i am explaining this one because if you will understand with respect to light then sound also works on the same phenomena okay yeah yeah so do you understand this one yeah that process reflection that means when a ray of light incident on a smooth or polished surface then it bends back to its initial medium okay this process is known as a reflection of sound or reflection of light okay okay also there are two laws of reflection okay there yeah. are two laws of reflection two laws two laws will be the first one that i am writing over there first one is that first one is incident ray incident ray incident ray reflected ray reflected ray and normal and normal all lies in the same plane okay okay same plane yeah same plane you can understand that here it is 2d diagram and here in 2d diagram you can clearly understand you can see that incident ray reflected ray and normal each are drawn over there okay mm. and also next will be second law is there that uh, angle of second law is that angle of incidence angle of incidence angle of incidence is equals to equals to angle of reflection okay okay reflection so that means angle of incident angle of incidence is what angle of incidence that means angle created by incident ray okay yeah angle create wait i think i have to choose other color yep angle created by incident ray this one you are seeing okay mm. with respect to normal you see it is your incident angle defined by angle i okay okay yeah and reflected reflected angle that means you can consider like this and it is your reflected angle okay yeah angle r okay so yeah reflected reflected angle of reflection or reflected angle that means angle created by reflected ray with respect to normal that will be angle of reflection okay angle of incidence that means angle created by incident ray with respect to normal okay yeah do you understand clearly yeah yeah so second law says that angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection that means you can write there it means that angle i equals to angle r okay do you understand this yeah great 
so this process that I explained over here beta that is your reflection okay yeah. it is your reflection let me refresh that so that uh, refraction also that we can understand over there yes so again just see on your screen here firstly what is what is your uh, process process is that okay wait a second there should be a glass slab over there like glass slab like this do you know that glass slab that means it will be a rectangular three dimensional mm -hmm. slab over there and also we can draw over there to normals like this it is your normal and it is your normal okay creating mm -hmm. 90 degree angle with respect to plane and uh, then incident ray so according to refraction when a ray of light transmits from rarer medium to denser medium okay rarer mm -hmm. medium to denser medium wait a second uh, i can explain a little bit like this firstly you can write over there what is rarer medium rarer medium rarer medium that means air okay and denser medium that will be your glass okay okay denser medium that is glass clear yeah Wait, medium you can also write there medium and denser medium okay so now process is that when a ray of light is tra transmits from rarer medium to denser medium okay you can see that this ray of light that is coming from rarer medium that means from air to denser medium that means in glass it bends towards the normal okay really? are, are you seeing that yeah yeah it bends towards the normal towards the normal that means inside clear yeah and now you can see the same and when it transmits from denser medium okay now you can see that denser medium to rarer medium it gets away from the normal okay like this okay so you can see that it is getting away from the normal clear yeah this process is known as a refraction okay okay again i am repeating that beta the process of the process in which that an incident ray transmits from rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards the normal and when transmits from denser medium to rarer medium it bends uh, it gets away from the normal okay and this process is known as a refraction here also but beta same thing that you have to write over there like incident angle i here will also be there it is your incident angle angle i here you can see that this one that will be angle r okay and the outside again it will be angle e okay that means emergent okay. angle okay yeah well, in spite of writing there hey, wait a second uh, you can write over there here wait give me a second you can write here like uh, angle e emergent angle okay yeah yeah, yeah and uh, yes and two laws of refractions are also there two laws two laws two laws of refraction so first law that is again it is incident ray incident ray incident ray refracted ray refracted refracted ray and normal all lies in same medium okay 
Yeah. Same medium. Okay? Yeah. Or in same media. Okay. Second is that second law. Wait, here we have to write there second and the second second law I am writing there. The ratio of the oh sorry. I think that uh, okay, white color I am choosing there because this one is yeah. Second law is that the ratio of ratio of angle of incidence weight you can write there ratio of angle of incidence angle of incidence no, no, no ratio of sign of you can write that then that will be much convenient for you to understand over there give me one second the ratio of red color ratio of sign of angle of incidence okay yeah incidence to the to the sign of sign of angle of ref, refraction okay refraction becomes constant okay becomes constant okay this law is also known as what this law is also known as Snell's law okay it is also known as uh, as Wait, give me one second. It is also known known as Snell's law. Okay, Snell's law. Mm -hmm. It is very very important, beta. Okay, the second one. Yeah. So that means according to Snell's law, what does it mean? sign of angle of incidence so you can write that sine i okay upon sine r okay that is equals to constant okay understand so it is your second law it is also known as snell's law do you understand that hello Shan, are there? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm able to hear you. What happened? Nothing. I was, just, I was speaking. Yeah, I thought that uh, there is a call drop or something else. Yeah, do you understand clearly, beta, whatever that I explained with respect to refraction? Yeah. Great. Let me refresh that so that we can move downwards. Yes. Comparing light and sound waves. So as usual, beta, just before I explain that to you, that light and sound both are waves. Okay. That means they can travel with respect to medium or without medium. Okay. But okay. they are not identical. They are not same just like as okay. There is a little bit difference between them. Okay. So yeah, yeah. light is your transverse wave and sound is your light is your light waves are transverse in nature. Okay. Yeah. And sound waves are longitudinal in nature. Okay. Okay. Light can travel through vacuum. Okay. Yeah. But sound cannot travel through vacuum because it requires medium to travel. Clear? Yeah. Next is light can be reflected. Okay. And sound can okay. also be reflected. Yes. Understand? Yeah. Light can reflected. 
can be refracted yes they both can refracted light and sound okay they can also diffracted and sound can also diffracted and they can interfere okay okay yeah so light and sound they both have can interfere okay yeah means they show the interface so next is that what is diffraction okay okay yes so diffraction that means process is that what give me one second oh yes there is a diffraction there is a separate topic over there um, diffraction that means when waves meet a gap in a barrier okay yeah when waves that would like to move through a barrier or a gap they carry on through a gap okay and also the waves would like to spread out to some extent into the area beyond the gap okay that process is known as okay. diffraction okay yeah yeah also the extent of expressing spreading that depends on the width of the gap okay yeah so that means what is the width of the gap regarding to that the extent of spreading depend okay if the gap would like to be less then spreading will be also yeah. less if the gap will be maximum so spreading will also be maximum okay so in that condition if gap will be less then sound or light will not spread out more okay but if the gap will be large then sound or light would like to move or that would like to uh, cover a large area okay yeah. also it depends on wavelength of waves okay wavelength yeah. before clicking i can tell you that uh, if you would like to draw the diagram if you would like to draw the diagram of any wave okay give me one second like uh, suppose that if there will be just like a diagram of uh, any graph like a sine function okay so yeah. that would like to be like this okay yeah like this it is a type of continuous graph okay so when it yeah. will be a type of continuous graph so the above one you can see that it is known as your crust okay yeah crust and the downwards that is known as trough okay okay yeah trough okay so what is wavelength what is wavelength so you can write wavelength i am writing definition here also wavelength wavelength that is distance distance between two crust okay two crust yeah. or two trough okay yeah two trough trough or one crust one crust and one trough okay yeah that is known as your wavelength so what does it mean it means that distance between distance between two crust so beta you can see that from here to here that is distance or not yeah so this one is your wavelength defined by symbol lambda or here also that you can see that the distance between two trough like this here okay yeah it is your lambda okay or you can also understand that uh, i am explaining also that with respect to glitter or uh, yes 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 glitter that will be much convenient to understand you can see that distance between one crust like uh, one crust you can see that are you seeing that a little bit i am shading 
by green okay are you seeing that are you seeing that what yeah yeah you can see that that means the distance of one crust and one trough it is also your wavelength okay to understand that next is so wavelength i explained that beta give me one second i am refreshing again because that uh, if i will not refresh then i have to write down there and then we will i will not be able to draw or mark or important so wavelength that means beta the length of a single wave measured from one wave crust to the next that is your wavelength or simply you can understand that whatever definition that i wrote there the distance between two crust or two trough or one crust or one trough that is known as wavelength clear yeah significant diffraction only happens yeah it is important significant diffraction only happens when the wavelength that is of same order means magnitude as the gap okay yeah yeah so basically that for example that a gap much larger than the wavelength cause little spreading okay okay and a sharp shadow okay that means uh, you can understand example is your light through a doorway okay yeah also a gap similar to wavelength caused by lots of spreading with no sharp shadow okay that is another condition example is sound through a doorway okay yeah understand beta yeah yeah so here also that you can see with respect to these two figures are given diffraction yeah diffraction can sometimes be seen in waves in the sea when they pass into harbor okay mm -hmm. opening as shown in diagram yes the wavelength of this diagram is represented as the distance between the blue vertical line yeah you can see that suppose that any ship that is passing over there so whatever vertical lines you are seeing that it is defined as its a wavelength clear yeah, yeah. great so that's why here they are saying that the diffraction it is diffraction through a wide gap okay yeah yeah and when there will be a narrow gap you can see that like this so here you can see that when there will be a narrow gap or a small gap then diffraction that would like to be when a wave would like to pass through here so here you can see that it's a wavelength that is same okay but yeah. as soon as it would like to pass through this gap then its wavelength that would like to be changed over there okay okay yeah so here you can see that diffraction through a narrow gap clear yeah, yeah. okay yes that's great so what should we have to do was that uh we just have to move to fourth page Yeah. Are you understanding that? Yeah. Ah, uh, give me one second, beta. Actually, I want to click second page again because that we click that only diffraction topic there. Oh yes. Wait. Or not of a second page. We have to click over the first page again. because that we click their frequency topic what is this figure features of wave don't you think that this uh, chapter is changed now huh yes this energy transfer Yeah, give me one second. I'm clicking again that the chapter has 
because diffraction okay yes 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 here it is light okay what happened over there no problem oh i think that there was a there was a specific topic over there that's why that the other yeah here that you can see that diffraction that was in the downwards that we yes yeah here you can see that the law of reflection you can see that sound waves and light waves reflect from surfaces okay yeah, yeah. also the angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection just you can see that i just explained this one to you in your previous page beta on your first page okay this one is called the angle this one is known as angle of reflection fundamentally what is angle of incidence incidence that means angle between the normal and incident ray now you can consider that whatever i explained that that's true or not yeah great and also beta angle of reflection that means the angle between the reflected ray and the normal okay yeah that is your angle of reflection so regarding to law of reflection first one i told you that incident ray reflected ray and normal all lie on the same plane secondly you can see that the angle of incidence that will be equals to angle of reflection you can see here suppose that regarding to figure it is your mirror okay or yeah, water yeah. barrier okay so here you can see that incident ray that is this one and it is your reflected ray okay so angle yeah, yeah. created by incident ray with this, and this dotted purple line beta that is your uh, normal okay so angle created by incident ray with respect to normal that is your incident angle and angle created by reflected ray with respect to normal that is your angle of reflection okay yeah do you understand that yeah, yeah. it is your water barrier it is your plane mirror but you can see that it is the same okay by different color they are showing that here angle of incidence that is light blue color angle of reflection you can see that dark blue color or you can understand with respect to mirror angle of incidence that they are they are showing that here light blue color and angle of reflection that they are showing here yellow color understand yeah, yeah. in both the condition they will be same that means angle of incidence that will be equals to angle of reflection clear yeah reflection is the fundamental process by which we are able to hear others okay so, yes. because because as usual that hearing that is totally based on the traveling of sound okay yeah so what would like to happen an incident ray when it strikes on a smooth or polished surface at the angle and then it reflect back of it okay yeah then in that condition the angle of reflection is equals to angle of incidence or you can also learn that angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection okay yeah yes and both angles that would like to be measured with respect to normal clear yeah now one question one mark question that can come in your test beta so what is normal so this definition you have to write over there that is normal is an imaginary line creates a right angle or 90 degree angle with respect to plane you can see that it is your yeah. plane mirror and this purple one that is your normal ray okay yeah you can see that it is perpendicular with respect to uh, mirror or not yeah great so a smooth surface a smooth surface that means where reflection will be maximum okay a smooth surface beta that means where maximum reflection can be there okay yeah yeah and also a smooth surface you have to learn that a smooth surface produces a strong echo then sound wave hits them okay yeah, yeah.
yes and they act just like as mirror when light waves hit them okay yeah. the waves would like to reflect uniformly and light can form images okay yeah. so what will be the sound of mind okay the same sound that you would like to hear over there okay yeah. secondly if you are using light so whatever color of light you will use after reflection the same color of light you will obtain again okay yeah. do you understand that yeah so basically that uh, here a wave can be focused to a point that means sunlight reflect of a concave telescope mirror okay yeah. yes that is used for focusing or just for focus and next one it appears to come from a point behind the mirror okay that means a looking glass clear yeah next is rough surface rough surface beta rough surface is scatter sound and light in all direction okay scattering yeah. you are understanding what is scatter scatter that means it would like to distribute light energy or sound energy or it would like to absorb by the surface okay yeah if there will be a smooth surface then 99% of light or sound would like to reflect okay but if there will be rough surface so almost 60% light that would like to be absorbed light or sound only 20 only 34 30 35% energy that would like to reflect okay yeah and regarding to that one we will be able to hear sound or we will be able to Uh, see light okay yeah do you understand that yeah yes great and also they depend yeah as i explained that to they both depend on their angle of incidence and angle of reflection beta okay now come to the next page here there is third page also on third page next one is your refraction so as i explained that to you on first page that a refraction is the phenomena in which that when a ray of light transmit from rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards the normal and when from denser medium to rarer medium it gets away from the normal okay yeah this phenomena is known as a refraction of light or refraction of sound any else that you can consider or understand okay mm. do you understand that yes great <clears throat> so okay next uh, yeah here and also beta you just have to remember that when there will be refraction then the speed of sound or light that would like to change okay why because you can understand that when the medium would like to change okay when medium will change so regarding to that one the speed will also change or not yeah you can also understand in this way also suppose you are running in air okay or you are running on a beach okay and instantly that your uh, you started to run into water okay so what what will you feel you will feel that your speed would like to reduce okay suppose that firstly you are running on the ground okay and then you are running then you start to run 
in water so as usual you know that the density of water that is greater than the density of uh, air that's why that it is not possible for you to retain your speed in water also clear mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so that means that here so how why it is possible that uh, why why that you will decrease the speed because that the density of water is greater than density of uh, air so basically you have to understand that only if there will be change in speed okay of change in speed or change in direction of uh, light waves or sound waves then that will be with respect to density different densities of different liquid okay or matter clear yeah yes and also when when the light would like to pass through this kind of medium like a glass or air okay glass to air or air to glass then you have to understand that it will cause a change in direction also because that it is not possible that they will they will further move in the same direction they will change their direction okay this process of changing direction is known as refraction beta do you understand yeah means indirectly that i also explain that to you fundamental definition so here you can see also that they are saying that when the ray of light that will pass through rarer to denser okay then it would like to change its speed as well so as it will change its speed so in that condition it will move a little bit towards the normal or not because that's energy that it decreased over there okay so only the condition is that to move on the same path that is when it contains the same amount of energy after refraction okay yeah. you just have to understand you can understand in this way also suppose that there was a glass slab over there okay you can see that very quickly i am drawing over here and uh, you can see that it is your normal here and normal here you can see that uh, one light, one ray of light that is coming here okay so ray of light that is coming here after and you can see that when it will tend to enter from rarer to denser it is speed would like to decrease or not yeah so when speed will decrease so that means energy is decreasing r so that means in spite of moving the same way over here okay it will bend towards the normal okay because its energy is getting decreased now okay yeah so that means and also that speed is also decreased now and when again from denser to rarer when it will move then again it will it's the speed that would like to increase over there okay yeah wait a second means a little bit of straight line that will be much convenient to understand yes so you can see that it is your refracted ray in refracted ray that means after moving through the glass slab when the ray of light will come out again so again its speed would like to increase why because in denser medium speed would like to be slow but in rarer medium the speed would like to be maximum do you understand that yeah great also you can see here okay i have to refresh that beta because there is a slide over there of seeing that we can understand what they are giving yes here you can see that they are saying that the wave shows and its wavelength decreases as it enters in the glass yes that's also true when a ray of light that will enter from rarer medium to denser medium then its wavelength that would like to decrease okay yeah yes but always remember that if there will be any type of medium but frequency that will not change over there okay at any case understand yeah, yeah. 
because the frequency will change beta so it will lose its identity suppose that it's a red color okay so that means that it will always be red color it is not possible to change the color over there okay yeah. so here beta the above one that is your ear that downward that is your glass okay so as the wave slows and it its wavelength decreases as it enters the glass okay and as the wave returns to air its spread and wavelength increases to their original values okay that's what i was saying that to you that when firstly that when uh, energy or sound energy or light energy that would like to move from rarer to denser medium due to lack of energy it's or due to lack of speed it's a path that will change okay and it will turn towards the new towards the uh, normal okay but yeah. again that when it will tend to move from uh, denser medium to rarer medium then again it's a speed that would like to increase or not yeah. and when its speed will increase so then in that way it will again retain its original path okay yeah it's in a straight line do you understand that yeah great so i explain this one here yes so here beta again angle of incidence again they are explaining angle of incidence you can again also understand that with respect to refraction that's a rule that is same beta over there that means angle between normal and incident ray refracted angle of refraction that means angle created between the refracted ray and normal okay yeah do you understand that yeah great and then yes when a white light passes through passes from air into a triangular prism okay it is reflected as it enters and then it again it again as it exists but after refraction it would like to spread into its seven constituent color okay that is known as dispersion of light wait i am explaining over here so you can see that there will be a prism oh sorry means here suppose that on table there is a prism that is written over there and that is kept over there okay it is your prism prism is a 3d object having three smooth and polished surface means not three indirectly it contains four smooth and polished surface because three will be on three side and one will be at the bottom okay so basically that what is the what is dispersion dispersion that means when a ray of light that will incident on the prism okay then with respect to normal uh with this, yeah here you can see that it will be your normal okay it will also be normal creating 90 degree angle and also you can see that when your ray of light that will uh, trans transmit from rarer medium to denser medium that means from air to from air to this glass slab or means a triangular prism so you can see that it bends towards the normal okay understand you can see that it is getting towards the normal yeah. and again after refraction then from here that it would like to change into seven constituent color okay okay yes seven so firstly and its name is vibgur violet indigo blue green yellow orange red okay mm -hmm.
that means always remember that red colors wavelength that will be maximum okay in some books it would like to be written in just opposite means uh, just opposite means i mean to say like this that should be written like we go in this way violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red okay if you are so here you can see that the wavelength of red color that will be maximum it is the fundamental reason that's why that red color objects that you will be able to see that very clearly and very quickly clear yeah and violet color object if that will be in your room then it is not possible for you to see that at random when your parents will ask you to see that if there is any violet color object then you would like to see means carefully then you will be able to recognize that oh yes there is a violet color object okay but specifically that if random they would like to say then it is not possible to uh, find that why because that violet color wavelength that is very least it is approximately 2000 okay and red color wavelength that is approximately 7 to 8000 okay mm. yes angstrom do you understand that yeah okay beta so i think two pages that we had completed over here i will upload mm. your class okay and then in next class this topic that will be completed over there so thanks a lot have a great time bye bye bye